the purpose of this is really just to find out what what motivated you to leave Cuenca, come here, um, what do you think of that decision, and do you see yourself with that same decision in three, four, five years? Yeah, just tell me what's on your mind. I moved to Cuenca um, from Costa Rica, and this has been a pattern in my life. After three to five years, I get bored, I want to get on down the road. Um, and so I went to Cuenca and it answered a bunch of questions in the beginning. It was new. It was exciting. It was, you know, oh my God, it's so great. You know, look at this, all the antiquity, all this old stuff. Well, that antiquity turned into just dirty old to me after a while. I, I just got bored and then I got pretty much fed up with the whole gringo state of mind that goes on in Cuenca. So I started researching going someplace else and this kept showing up on the radar. Through your help and a few other people that had been up here, Columbia was a great place just to investigate. So in September I came up here and um, oh, prior to that I spent a lot of time on the internet as we do, you know, uh, seeking bad information. But anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> I came up here in September and immediately when I got off the bus, I realized I was home. It's very similar in topography to San Francisco where I spent 30 years and it's, it's visually a very pretty place. And I, I know if it's visually very pretty that I can, I can get along with it and that's what's happened. I, I feel very much at home here. It's for me, it'll be home for three to five years, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less, but that's that's the way my life goes. Here's the thing, you know, when you're in Cuenca, there's there's a reason why we all become expats. There's, we're, there's something that's driving us to go to seek a different reality than what we were experiencing in the United States. And maybe 10 years ago, the people that went into Cuenca were were great people. They were the adventurers. You know, they were the people that 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 seek the new stuff, and they are very exciting people. But what's happening now, in my belief, and uh, Cuenca is getting full of people that are there for all the wrong reasons. They're not there to assimilate into the culture. They're not there to experience a new country. They're there to either hide out or it's a, a cheap place to live and so they bring a lot of baggage. Um, I have found back in 2012 um, I was living in Costa Rica and I took a, a trip down to Cuenca thinking I was going to stay there and I got very sick and I ended up back in the United States for two years and I was in um, Iowa, Iowa City, Iowa and I found it was definitely cheaper than Costa Rica and it's on par with how much it costs to live in Cuenca. You can basically live in Iowa or live in Ecuador for 1200 to 1700 a month. You know, I've said that in some of my videos. Upstate New York is like that. Yeah. In, in Vermont, you know, where I grew up many, many years ago, it's, it's not that expensive to live a very decent life yeah. without eat, having to eat cat food and, you know, live under the bridge, etc. cetera. Yeah. But, you know, back to Montezales, um, you and another friend have come to visit, you know, for a few days, and what's your experience? What are you seeing of this city? Well, I thought I remembered this place, and I don't. I was here 15 years ago, and um, it was a nice place, beautiful location. This isn't the same place. I don't even recognize it. I don't remember, I don't remember even the tram being here. Um, like I, I told you, we drove sure. in, so maybe I just didn't see it. But there are so many buildings, there's so many high rises, and they're relatively new. I know they weren't here before. Do you know what everybody says? And it's not that many. By the way, um, I've been here um, two, two and a half months now. Um, other than you and Andrew that are just here as visitors, I've run across two other gringos. And that really makes my heart happy. You know, I. I like being in a culture where um, it's a totally different language, everything is different. And that was another problem with Cuenca, it was becoming 
little America, you know, with well, all it gets the problems. Corrupted, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, here the taxis insist on giving you the correct change back, yeah. for example, and in Cuenca, because of the the changes, they'll keep whatever you give them and say they don't have change. I mean, it's it's not that you know they're necessarily crooked. It's that environment that they've been around and. It hasn't been here, and so here it's really, you can pretty much trust what people are giving you back for change because yep. they don't know another way. It's, you know, and not only that, what I found, the gringo population in Ecuador, and it happened in Costa Rica, it's one of the reasons I love Costa Rica, are the worst hustlers. They're nickel and diming the other expats, they're, you know, they're setting you up, there's a a communal newspaper called uh, Gringo Post, and you w open it up every morning on the, on your computer, and there will be maybe 25 or 30 ads, and you can see about three quarters of those ads are hustles. They're just trying to extract the dollar out of your pocket, and I just got sick of all of that. So you add it all up, you know, it's time for me to leave. I have found this place. I'm very happy here. Do I want everybody from Cuenca uh, to move here? No. <laughs> but do I want some friends, you, Andrew, a couple other people to come up? That would be wonderful. But in, in general, I'm very happy that there's a very low gringo population here. Yeah, we don't want international living to get wind. No, 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 no. <laughs> you know, we don't, we don't need a Sunrise Cafe. We don't need, there's, uh, you know, uh, Joe's Secret Garden. You know, there, there are nice places and all that, but I'm just, we don't need them here. Especially with the quality of restaurants that are here. Whoa, right? huh? It's crazy. It's crazy. So, the topography, the geography, the culture, I mean, it all adds up to this is a very nice place. Not that Cuenca is not a very nice place. I just got burned out on it. And every place isn't for everyone. Yeah, exactly. As a matter of fact, there's probably a lot of people that would hate it here because if you're not, if you're not in good shape, Hiking up and down these hills will kill you. Yes. Yes. You know, so if anybody's watching this video that's not in good shape, it's contemplating, you know, you really don't want to come here. You don't walk up and down this with a walker or a wheelchair or a bad knees and that or if you're hundred pounds overweight. It truly a vertical city. Yeah. How many layers, do you know how many levels there are to this city? It's, I think it's unlimited because it goes in all different directions with the topography. Um, you know, I have not walked from the bottom to the top. I don't even know if I could. I was trying to figure it out today and, and I get what you're saying. I don't know if you could put a number on it, but I could see six major different levels right. to this city, major ones. And then there's, you know, there's the old part of um, Manizales, El Centro, which is very similar to the El Centros of every other Latin American city. It's the oldest part of the city, a little run down, you know, you, but then you start to go towards the west where we are right now, it becomes, it Europe. looks, <laughs> Europe, and everybody has said, my God, this looks like Miami with the high rises, you know, all the um, high rises have terraces. All the buildings are new. It's immaculate. The dogs don't shit on the sidewalks. And they're on leashes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, all in all, it's a very nice place for me. Is it a nice place for you? You'll have to come and visit. The difference between the people in Cuenca that you run into on a daily basis and the difference of people here that you run into on a daily basis, can you? see any difference in the people, in the culture, in the attitude, in the positivity or negativity? Well, I can only personalize that and say how people treat me. And what I've found, the people in Colombia in general, and especially here in Montezales, are more open, they're more honest, and um, they're emotionally available. And that's true to some degree in Ecuador and in uh, Cuenca, but you can see the progression that's headed down. They're closing down a little bit because what happens, they either get burned or, you know, they get made fun of or whatever. It changes the population. We as gringos, we as expats, usually have a detrimental effect on a culture. 
That's it's possible. It's a difference. I don't know. I thought about this a lot. Um, attitudes. There's two people in Cuenca, Ecuador, that are from Ecuador, that are maybe two of the best friends I've ever had, and I know a dozen people quite well. Uh, that are Quincanos or from Ecuador, and they're very nice and normal. Sure. And, but when I walk down the street, I see people looking down. I see people scowling. I see people. You say good morning, and they look at you like you just committed a crime. And not always, you know. I'm, it's a generalization, but you see a lot of that there. And then when I come to Armenia or here. You walk down the street and everybody's so fast with a smile. And if you don't say good morning first, maybe they're going to say it. And that's absolutely when you start true. emotionally available, you're right. Because uh, in Ecuador, the emotions are behind a locked door. Exactly. And my friends expose that. But in general, you don't see that. They're very reserved. They're very conservative. In Colombia, it's almost like there's no restrictions on, the, talk about wearing their emotions on their sleeve. You know how they're feeling. Well, and I think some of that, I don't think it's totally, but I think it's the interaction between Colombians and um, expats and Ecuadorians and expats. Besides the base culture, I think after a while, some locals, they just go, I'm just not going to do this anymore because either they insulted me, they insulted my culture, they insulted something, or they were just assholes. And I just don't want to deal with it anymore. So, but base cultures, I think Colombians are definitely more open than Ecuadorians yeah. as, as a culture. And then put on top of that, their experiences with expats. I mean, what's the latest count in Cuenca? How many expats? Uh, 6,500. 6,500 in a city of, of 600,000. Manizales is very similar. Uh, it's about 500, 550,000. I've seen maybe three or four gringos in two months. And you live in the place where gringos would be. Yeah, exactly. There. If they were going to be anywhere, they would be right around where I am. <laughs> so, you know. Well, it's, a good, it's a good point. I hadn't really thought about that. And I bet I haven't been to Benajin in forever or if you're in Ecuador, Medellin. Um, and that would be a good place to, to test that idea out, to go to Poblado and where there's a zillion gringos and a zillion expats and see what that's like. Are they only smiling there because Bingo. they're going to make some money? Bingo. Where Bingo. here, that's really, it has nothing to do with it. I and mean, Armenia is that way. It's. It, 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 I think if you tried to offer money for something they didn't do, they'd just be insulted. Of course, and that's what happens. You know, the poor, I'm, I'm coming from the United States, I'm the great white hope, and I'm going to help you poor little people. That goes on a lot yeah, in Cuenca. It's too much in Cuenca. Yeah. yeah. And um, basically, we're just all human beings in, in, you know, in this pool. And, you know, the perfect person would be Andrew, because Andrew now has experienced Cuenca. He's here in Montezales now. He's going to Medellin. You should interview him and then interview him after he gets back to Cuenca. That, I think, would be an eye-opener. You know you could.